Hello there. I'd like to give you the broad strokes with regard to what a representation is in quantum mechanics. And I'm going to give you the, the detail or the rigor in future videos. So let's begin. In quantum mechanics, the general quantum state vector is called a ket. And it's represented mathematically here. This is the ket psi. Now, if you want to measure the value of an observable, such as position or momentum, you're going to need the associated operator. Now, for reasons we'll discuss in a moment, operators in quantum mechanics are Hermitian, always, by definition. So here we have an arbitrary operator A, and it's going to operate or act on our quantum state vector psi. In doing so, we're going to get what's known as an eigenvalue equation. And here is the eigenvalue equation associated with the operator A. What, we ha what happens is you operate using our operator on our quantum state and you get back the same quantum state, but with a multiplicative constant, a scalar. And this scalar is known as the eigenvalue associated with the particular quantum state. So it might be the literal value of position or momentum or whatnot of that particular state. Now, the ket here is known as an eigenstate or an eigenvector, a ket or even an eigenket of the operator A. And the eigenvalue associated with the particular state is associated, of course, with the operator as well. Now, I said earlier on that operators in quantum mechanics must be Hermitian. And the reason that is, is that the operators give us the value of an observable, and observables must be real numbers. So position, energy, and momentum, for example, they must be real numbers. So the eigenvalues of Hermitian operators are real, and that's why we use Hermitian operators to measure observables. However, we get a neat thing in return. It turns out also that the eigenstates of Hermitian operators can themselves be used as a basis for other states. And this is because they're complete, orthogonal, and can be normalized. Now, I'm not going to go into this at the moment. We'll do this later. But think about your Cartesian space. You can use cylindrical coordinates or spherical coordinates to point every point in the space or to span your space. But you can also use rectangular coordinates. You can use the unit vectors i hat, j hat, k hat as a basis to span your space. And in quantum mechanics, the space we speak of is Hermi excuse me, is Hilbert space. And what we're saying is that once we get the eigenstates of a Hermitian operator, we can use those as a basis to span the space and describe all other quantum states in that space. Of course, to do so, we need linear combinations. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Now, if you operate on an arbitrary quantum state vector, the quantum state vector is going to change. It's going to collapse, or it is going to project onto the eigenstates of the operator. So let's say we have an arbitrary quantum state vector psi, and we operate on it with our operator here. Now initially, psi is not, let's say, an eigen in an eigenstate of the operator. And if that's the case, then it must change, and it collapses into an eigenstate, or an eigenket, or an eigenvector of the observable A. And what we get then is the, the associated eigenvalue equation. In this case, the eigenvalue we're looking for is small a. This is the value of the observable associated with that particular operator when we apply it or look at this particular quantum state. Now, a representation is when the eigenstates of a particular quantum operator, its kets, are used as a basis for representing other quantum states. Let's consider the energy eigenvalue equation. So let's start with an arbitrary quantum state vector psi. At the moment, that isn't in the eigenstates of the energy operator, which is known as the Hamiltonian. So if we act on this with the Hamiltonian, the general quantum state or generic quantum state is going to have to collapse and it's going to decide or has to decide to be in one of the energy eigenstates, the E sub n's. And then we get the energy eigenvalue equation here. So we know that these eigenstates are associated with the Hamiltonian energy operator, which we know is Hermitian. Hence we know that we can use these to span our space. And in order to do so, we take a linear combination of our eigenstates, and we can use that to represent a general quantum state. 
So we say that a general quantum state is written as a linear combination of the basis kits and these are eigenstates of a particular operator. And the most important eigenstates are those of position, of energy and of momentum. So here we have the energy eigenstates, the momentum eigenstates and the position eigenstates and we can take linear combinations of those in order to represent a general quantum state vector. So finally, if you have a general quantum state vector psi and you seek the value of the momentum say, then you apply the momentum, momentum operator which is p hat and in doing so the system will have to collapse it'll have to decide to be in an eigenstate or an eigenvector or an eigenket of the, of the momentum operator and it'll give you the associated eigenvalue equation. The system collapses into the eigenstate of the momentum operator and gives you the multiplicative constant which in this case is the value of momentum. So they're the broad strokes of what a representation is in quantum mechanics. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and visit universityphysicstutorials.com. Thanks.